Hi, Michael Olman here from Olman Precision Products, and today we want to talk about uh, mullard borders. So that would be the concave border and how you cut it in, what it is, uh, uh, what it is not, and how to do it. So um, first, the mullard border is usually two lines after your checkering pattern uh, that add a little bit of a detail to it. It's a little uh, one line and that's the concave line and then another line outside of that which is just a regular uh, V line just like the rest of your diamonds usually maybe not quite as deep um, but there's like a misnomer out there that the Mullard border is used to hide your overruns and that really is not the case if anything a Mullard border will accentuate your overruns because that little lip as it comes up it will show all the little cuts that you have that are over um, so it's usually um, an advanced technique as far as I'm concerned. Your cutter is round, it's harder to follow the line, and so it's just, it's just not used for hiding things. Um, but it, does, it is desirable and it does show off the uh, quality of craftsmanship that you've put into your checkering job. So let's take a look at the tools that we have. Uh, the first one that we're going to need is a mullard cutter, which is a rounded cutter. We make them here at, at Ulman Precision Products, we make them 65 thousandths and 95 thousandths wide. Um, this one is a 65 that I'll be using today. Um, and then we just need a few variety of tools. Um, we need a, a 330 seconds to get into some tight corners a nine or three sixteenths pardon me uh, also for tire corners and then i just use a three eighths which is kind of your workhorse for doing your lines and then you'll need some sort of spacing tool uh, i've spaced mine out with the titan uh, but you could just use a regular hand spacing tool to put those lines in uh, either before or after as far as putting the lines in there's a few ways that you can do it uh, some people myself included, do the whole pattern and then add the lines after the pattern is all cut. Some people, while they're laying out, they put those two lines in and they, you know, maybe put tape over it or something so that um, they know not to go that far. And then they cut their borders in. Uh, I just prefer to just cut the pattern and then put two more lines in afterwards and, and then space them in that way. Uh, and so let's take a look now at the stock that we have today and we're going to do some cutting and, and show you some technique. Okay, we're going to take a look at a stock. I've, I've kind of done it in three phases. I've got one side of the grip that's laid out ready to have uh, the mullard borders put in but it has no cuts. I've got another one where I've done this half of this side and we're going to look at that one and we'll cut a little bit of the border in. And then the forearm we'll show you at the end is completely done. Um, so. Let's take a look at the stock right now so that you can first see, this is where we have our two lines that are laid in for the Muller border. And so off of here, we have one, this line here is the one that we'll be using the Muller cutter on. And then this one, we'll just use a 90 degree uh, V tool, single line cutter, and we'll widen that. And what we wanna do is uh, work it so that we cut the groove in here and uh, then we make these edges nice and clean and we'll bring these together and we'll talk about that on the next panel which is over here which you can see is halfway done uh, we've cut this way and uh, we've started to clean up the edges and make these here if you can see I don't know if we'll be able to, but there's a real nice little line right in here. And we're gonna work on that line here. We're gonna do this point here and we want to kind of have that all crisp and done. Okay, so uh, we're gonna cut in this point and this, we just rock the Muller cutter up. I like to come up and pull back, okay? Our Muller cutters are made out of um, tool steel and they are designed to also work. I'll show you here. You can also work them on the push and they'll work like a little push chisel and cut that in. But we wanna come up and we wanna go over like past where we were 
and just come up here on this side okay and then we'll come over and do this line now a lot of people stop right here and they leave this little bit of shiner in there and I don't like that. So we come up and we kind of roll that tool up and we're just trying to catch that and clean that edge up and maybe get that finish off and we might have to come back on this line and get that off so that we've cleaned all of that. Now, one important little detail that I've just put in there that we like to see is right here, this little line that tapers downward. That's where the two radiuses join. And it's really uh, just a touch of detail to show that we've done our job well and, and we've come in there and, and put that in. So we've got a little shiner here that we're gonna see about in this, but we're ready to clean up that outside line. And so then we grab uh, I use a, a carbide 3 8 inch cutter, just our single line cutter, and we're going to pick up that line, and we're going to clean this edge up, and so you can see some of that there should start to disappear as we cut deeper and wider, and then we'll come up here and do this one. And we want to get a nice point there. Same here. Okay. Uh, we might clean up the inside edge too. Just make sure that we're good. That looks nice and clean. And we got a little bit here. I've got a, just a little cleanup to do with the Muller cutter. We'll come through here. And do this. And that's got a little bit of cleanup that I'll need to flip the stock for in a little bit. But you can see this point here is done and complete and that that's well, I say that and I see one when the light hits it just right. So I'll point the camera and I don't know if it'll show up, but it's showing up on my la uh, light here. The very tip of that is got a little bit of a shiner. And so I like to just, we won't have to cut because that'll be wrong. But if you come up and just get this cutter in there, there it goes. And basically I'm just scraping off the finish and that... Uh, that will get that, make it look nice and clean. That's probably about as good as we can do right now. And um, so we've got this nice little detailed line that might help a little light. Little detail line that there I can see. You know, you have to look at it with different light. Sorry, grab my mullard cutter. I picked up the wrong cutter. And we'll get that little bit of shiner. Whoops. And this is what I was talking about earlier. They can be tricky because they want to slip out of your groove. Oh, there we go. Okay. And that's all done. Okay. So let's take a look at the forearm really quick. So we've got uh, this you can see here as we wrap around or, or as I show you, we've got a uh, wrap around pattern with the Muller borders done and they look pretty nice and clean. Um, and this part's ready to have oil put on it. And I just have to finish up the, the bottom and then we're all done. Okay. Um, well, we appreciate it. Uh, I should remind you again that this is cut with our 65 thousandths Muller cutter. We do have a 93 thousandths also. 
Um, and that just cuts a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, Muller okay. border. And I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions or, or want to get tools, get in touch with us either at our website at olmanprecision.com or give us a call. And uh, thanks for watching.